The inquest has been a long, difficult journey for Samuel Ugo's family. Ugo's mother has not been in the inquest chambers much over the last few days. Her family says it's because they're trying to protect her. Two days ago, Joyce Gaia Isabencando's blood pressure skyrocketed. She was taken to the hospital and put on medication. Ugo's uncle says that since her son's death, Bancando is forever changed. She's being eaten alive inside. Like, she's taking a lot. A lot. And the impact on her, it's been hard to see how this affected her life. The jury took four hours to deliberate and came back with 20 recommendations for the Saskatchewan Health Authority. One of them, that the SHA provide mental health training to all staff, including non-medical staff. Another, to provide cultural diversity training. This is something Ugo's uncle Justin Nye has been demanding. He says if the registration clerk on duty that day was black, Ugo would still be alive. The jury also recommended that the SHA provide Regina General with a 24-7 psychiatric nurse and that the SHA enhance one-on-one -on -one training at the registration desk. Registration confusion was a key component in Ugo not getting the help he deserved. After the recommendations were read, Nye hugged each juror. He said he's grateful that the jury recognized that what happened to Ugo was related to his race. Their recommendation was all on point. There is no point I did not agree with. Everything they said on that 20 point, I agree with every single one of them. Ugo's father says he hopes the hospital takes these recommendations very seriously. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News, Regina.